Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk about how long you need to be in therapy and how long you should expect to be in therapy because I'm seeing that people are coming in with the really wrong expectations of how long it will take to work through something or gain a new skill or break an old pattern or work through whatever struggle or disorder you're dealing with everyone seems to have the wrong idea and expectation of how long that will take and what that process will look like. So I want to talk about all of that today to give you a better idea of what to expect and what you should expect for yourself and for therapy. And I think this is so important because otherwise we really put the wrong expectations on ourselves and then we get really down when we don't meet them or we need to go longer or it looks different than we expected, right? So we are gonna talk about all of that today. And if you haven't subscribed and you wanna see more videos, I would love it if you subscribed. The sun just came out and is all in my face, but. <laughs> so just hit the subscribe button and if you want notifications, click that little bell and you will get notifications when new videos come out. So I have noticed that most people that come into therapy think that they need less time and less sessions and less work than they really do. And a lot of that obviously is pushed by money and insurance and all of that stuff. But aside from that, I'm not going to get into all of that. That's just bad. I'm not going to get into that. But aside from that, there's this expectation that people have that they will be able to work through their problems and their struggles and their trauma and their past and their disorders and their, you know, the list goes on a lot more quickly than is fair for them to expect of themselves, really, from my perspective and from the research. But we come in and we think, okay, I should be able to get this, this under control in, in five sessions or in a couple months or whatever. And of course there are some things that short-term therapy may work for. Maybe you just really want to talk something out or you want to get a little more skill in dealing with this. Like I really want to learn a couple techniques to manage stress or anxiety better or that kind of stuff. That can, that can sometimes be handled with shorter term, of course, short-term therapy. Or you can just get a few things handled. But there's also, I think, a high need for longer term therapy and that is for a few reasons so one healing is not linear as we know we want it to be linear but it's not it's not this step by step by step process that we just go through and then we're done we loop back around so many times we may go back to the first step we may go back to the third we may go back and back and back a million times right and usually what we see battery's getting low. Usually what we see is um, that we may start to like for grief, with grief for example, we work through it and it's so heavy and it's huge. It's like this huge wave that's crashing over us and then it just keeps crashing and crashing and crashing and crashing. And what we see with treatment and with working through it over time is the waves come a little less frequently. Maybe they're a little less big. Maybe there's more time in between them but they're still coming. It's still something that we have to work through, but our time and our ability to sit with it, that gets a bit better. And maybe we have a little bit more peace in between the really heavy times, but it's still hard and it's still a process. That's kind of how it is for a lot of things. And I'm finding that people get down on themselves a lot because they have this timeline for what this should look like and it never meets the timeline. Right? People always say to me, oh, why haven't I got this already? Or I thought I learned this. But that is a part of the process. We need things to be repeated. We need to keep working on things. It's not a one and done scenario. If it was, we wouldn't have any of the issues that we have because we would just learn something and, and realize something and be like, oh wow, yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. And then the pattern's broken and we're fine. But that's not how it is. We have to keep learning things and keep reworking things and keep reaffirming things. And I also find that we work on it and we get some progress and we get some understanding and things are going really well. And then that's often the time that people will end therapy. But then something happens, whether it's just time down the line, you know, your depression comes back in, you hit a trigger, you hit 
something stressful with work, you hit something crazy in the world, the community, whatever, relationship ends or something happens and everything kind of crashes again. And that doesn't mean that you didn't get a lot of progress and growth before, but you will have to rework some things and reaffirm some things. And that's a really good time to reaffirm the things that you learned and rework them and go back into them. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna go back into your old patterns and you're gonna go back into survival mode. You're gonna go back into not coping well or not taking care of yourself or really negative thinking. And that's a good opportunity to use these things and work through these things again. And you're gonna have to keep doing that over time. So some people will come back into therapy again when that happens or they'll wait for it to get really, really bad because they think that's the only, sorry, Iggy needs to go for a walk. Um, they think it has to be really bad before they should go back. And some people will stick it out the whole time. Obviously, again, finances permitting. But if we can stick it out that whole time, then we can be continually learning and continually working through those patterns because it takes a long time to get that to be our automatic reaction and it may never be your first reaction but you can work on getting closer to when something happens being able to deal with it a bit better so it's not linear you're gonna have to rework things and this isn't because there's anything wrong with you it's because it's normal your expectations are just wrong it's normal to have to do this so you're gonna have to rework things you're gonna have to learn things and reaffirm things multiple, 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 multiple times. It's not a one time thing. And there's no real timeline. For some people, they may need lifelong support to a degree. The sun just came out again. I can't be mad about the sun coming out, but it's making videos a little difficult. <laughs> um, so, some, some people really, really need lifelong support. And of course we can build up your skills so you can support yourself better outside of therapy and you can have a whole toolbox. Or for me, it may be like a Google Drive folder that we really build up for you. So you can go back into that and you can work through it yourself and we can surround you with books and maybe groups and support. So you don't have to be in individual therapy for a long time. And I do think it's helpful if you can to be an individual therapy, maybe on and off, maybe consistently, maybe some check-ins every few months once you get to that point where you're a little bit more solid. And I think if we came in with that expectation a little bit more, that people would be easier on themselves and they wouldn't go into shame. And they may even need a little bit less support because they wouldn't get so down on themselves and they would give themselves a little more grace and a little more patience to be able to build up these skills and practice them and understand that we do need time and we do need support. It's not a quick process. So those are the things that I, I really just wanted to address because people just get so down on themselves and it's, it's really not fair. Um, Cause this stuff takes time. So if you're finding yourself like, why haven't I learned this? Or why is this coming up again? Or why is this happening? That's normal. There's nothing wrong with you. Just reset and rework it as much as you can. And I still have things like this come up for me sometimes. And when I find myself thinking like, seriously, are you thinking this again? Are you doing this again? Are you having that reaction again? We worked on this. Then I'm like, okay, that's a sign that I just need to step back. I need to give myself a little more patience, a little more love, a little more grace. And I just need to reaffirm and rework things. I need to go back to the basics. I need to meditate because if that's happening, my meditation has probably fallen off. Where can I take care of myself? Where can I find some outlets? Who do I need to talk to to process? Who do I need to talk to to just reaffirm that I'm doing okay and give me a little love and support? So when that happens, those are the things that trigger for me that I need to do. And for some of my clients that I've worked with a long time, that's when they come back to me or they write me again or they say, hey, I need a little a little session, I need a little touch up, or I need to schedule something because I need to process and be reminded of all of these things. Or they open that folder and they, they rework those things. And if we have the expectation and understanding that that's normal, then when those things happen, shame doesn't come up, 
self-hatred doesn't come up, more negativity doesn't come up that sends us into that hole, what comes up is, oh, okay, yeah, this is normal, the struggle that I'm having is normal, and I'm just gonna deal with it, and I'm gonna work through it, and I'm gonna support myself. And that makes it so we do move forward, and we do learn from things, and we do grow, and over time that just keeps getting better and better and better till it takes a little less time to reset or you automatically go and do that thing that you know you need to do to reset or to ground yourself or to work through whatever issue you're having. So that understanding I think is really important in changing that perspective and that expectation. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me through my website or email or comment below. And if you have any specific questions, like maybe what you're working through, um, if you want me to address that specifically, I can do that as well. I kept this kind of broad, but of course, like if you're doing working through something really long-term and serious, like a major depressive episode or long-term depression or you know bipolar disorder, any of those things, that's going to take a really long time and continued work. It's not something that we work through for a couple months and we're good, right? So we need to change expectations around all of these things. And I still feel like that for other things too. Like, of course, those things automatically are going to need more time. But I work with a lot of people that leave religion. And even those people, they need to continually do this because things will keep coming up. And you'll keep having to rework things. And you'll keep having to reaffirm who you are and your values and that you're okay. And some of that little trauma will come back up. So anyway, I'm going to end there as the sun comes back to say hello. I think I'm gonna take little Iggy for a walk. But if you want individual support from me or you want help or you want whatever, just please reach out. Um, I wanna be a support for you guys as much as I can. So again, email, comment, reach out, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.